What's up, y'all? It's Tuesday, and um, spent a good amount of the day messing with the oxyacetylene torch and kind of just getting the hang of it. And it's really fucking cool. Uh, it burns way, way, way hotter than the propane or the map gas. Um, it was just like melting copper, super duper easy. So that's super awesome. Uh, I can't wait to start using it with steel and stuff like that. But um, last week was like kind of a funky week because of getting robbed. My head wasn't really in the right place. And um, now we're in Tuesday, the second day of the week. And... Uh, I have my bills paid without needing any money from the design side of the business. Uh, I'm doing more than enough money with DoorDash in the e just in the evenings to pay all the bills, uh, all of my, like half of the bills. And uh, the reselling business is just extra money. Um, to like help pay extra stuff and uh, bring back into the business like and whereas before like when I started in April I was like all right well I'm gonna make these necklaces and then I'm gonna put them up on Etsy and then I'm gonna sell those and make some money and uh, the traffic just hasn't been what I expected um so i haven't sold that many necklaces um so there was a period there where i was a little bit scared uh about like this isn't doing what i expected um like how am i going to pay the bills and stuff like that but now i've leveled it out and like i'm making money through different revenue streams and uh so i have to rethink the design side of the business and that's super good because like not needing money gives me total freedom uh And also, a big thing was I didn't want to fuck with wedding rings um, and stuff like that, especially rings because they're so personal and they need to be exactly the right size and stuff like that. And wedding rings on top of that is like a super big occasion and it seemed like a lot of pressure. Plus, I w wasn't that confident with gold. Um, but having done Josue and Maggie's rings, and it wasn't that hard. Uh, and it was really enjoyable. And they appreciate it so much. And it's just really, like, feels good. Um, whereas before, I was, like, worried that, like, the, of, like, the stereotypical bridezilla situation, you know? Um, but, like... bring that kind of like appreciation and like happiness like it's really awesome to do that like selfishly because it feels good and like uh just to like i don't know be the person that can do that for someone um so i have to rethink my whole business model with respect to the design side, uh, I have to rethink pricing. Uh, I, I've considered just like doing like Instagram auctions, starting at a, like a really low bid for like everything I make, just kind of throwing it out there, like doing free wedding rings on spec. I, like 
there's a million ideas kind of flying through my head uh, because I just enjoy it and I don't need the money anymore. So, like, I don't need the short-term money. I mean, obviously, like, I want to, like, create a profitable business in the future. Um, but I don't need the short-term income. So that is good. Uh, and I have to rethink everything on that side of the business. It's going to give me a lot more freedom. Uh, so I'm excited to see what turns out. I don't know what, but I got to think about it this week and just keep making. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Peace, y'all.